I welcome you to two minutes in the Olive Garden. The text for today, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advices, they succeed. The day you decide you do not need advices is the day foolishness and tests your territory like a flood. Who advises you? It is easy for the youth to accept counsel from the elderly or those seeking to marry to hear couples of decades of successful marriages to share their experiences with them. When one grows to a certain age or is lifted up to a certain status, that level of humility that pushes the person to seek the advice of others gradually fades off. The magnitude of your plan and its intended outcome determines the number of advisors you may need. For example, if you plan to go buy some groceries in, in town, you don't need many advisors to do that. But if you plan to build a community library, introduce a new service in your company, begin a huge infrastructural project, start new services in your church with a well-thought-out blueprint, you want to evangelize to over 50% of the lost youth in the church and bring them to the Lord, you need advices. God's word would advise you and so will the Holy Spirit. But the Lord, in addition to all these, would bring you people, human resource, so that they could counsel you. Remember, not all your friends are good advisors and not all your advisors must be your friends. Stay awake and choose your advisors carefully. Always remember to consult the Holy Spirit. The Shalom of Yahweh be upon you.